going on everybody z here welcome back to some more hydra near so today today i want to get the control room set up i want to get switches and levers and things to control the things and the stuff that we want to do because that's what we want to do anyways we're going to start doing just that hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more so i was kind of looking i'm trying to figure out the easiest most efficient way to do this so i came to the conclusion that I believe the easiest way to do this is going to actually be to put valves here, here. Uh, hold on, let's just put this there. Right here. Uh, I started putting a line out here because you're, you're gonna be like, wait, what the, there's a line there. Anyways, tr trust me, it'll make sense. It will make sense. We're gonna put valves all right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, we're gonna detach these from here like this. And then these, uh, obviously we're going to, have to do that. And then this one, we can take that one off because it doesn't need to go in there either. We can put this one in here. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to put valves in here. So these valves are going to control the ramps. So this one right here, this one right here, this one, and this one. And then this one right here is going to control, well, honestly, the, con the conveyors. But like, it doesn't really even need to because all of this, basically on this side, I want it to run whenever i turn everything on so honestly this doesn't actually need to be valve it just needs to be a uh, it just needs to be a t right there so like if we take this guy we can swap it out with this one right here put that in there like a so put this one right here like a so and then these this is going to run into these conveyors right here um and then the valves essentially are just going to control the drills so that way we can turn the drills off we can let everything run through get sorted get organized and then turn off the entire system you know what i mean so we're gonna mess with that we're gonna do that now we are gonna be running a lot of logistics cables and that's kind of what i want to play with i want to run the logistics cables i want to see how this works see how it goes and i think it's gonna be fun i think it's gonna be fun but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy like subscribe all the fun things anyways let's get on with it shall we so we need to go out here and then uh we actually need a t on the end of this one so we don't need that we don't need that. We don't need this. Do I have any more T-pipes over here? Oh, I do indeed. I have T-pipes. Okay, perfect. So let's get this bad boy on here uh, like this. We're going to go ahead and throw that on there. This one is actually going to go right here. And then this one is going to go right there. We're going to take this off. I guess we'll throw it on this guy. Um, also, people were, people were commenting. Um, I'll test it out. But people were saying that if I turn this red valve, that it will stop the water flow coming out of these. You don't need corks. If I remember correctly, before I used to do that, turning that valve actually turns this conveyor off. So um, if they changed it, if it's different, I will uh, I'll give it a try. Because I had a lot of people commenting that. So I just don't know if that's actually a thing or like what the dealio is. So um, I only need a couple more straight pipes. We need one, two, three. We need three more straight. Oh, 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 I've got a few. Okay, I'm trying to use what I have because like we already have a mess going everywhere. You know what I mean? Okay, so there's that. That looks good. Do we have one more straight pipe laying somewhere? Oh, <gasps> we do indeed. Okay. All right, perfect. That's really nice. Um, Because I was thinking about running a whole separate line out this way and then over here. And I was like, you know what? I could get away with a lot less pipes if I just do it this way. So there's that that looks good we do need another cork though um but i think that's pretty much it that's pretty much everything so we just need one two three four we need four valves to control the machines and then we're gonna need a boatload a boatload of logistics cables it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a real good time all right so let's head over there actually um Let's see. Let's go ahead and let's grab our stuff here. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this in here. And then we'll try to, we'll just sell this stuff for some money. Ta-da! Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, let's see. That one's that one. Grab this one. We'll grab that one. And we'll grab that one. We're going to take all these with us because uh, we're going to, like I said, we're going to be buying a lot of logistics cables. And I'm pretty sure those valves, those logistic valves are like super expensive as well. So actually, hold on. Let's make ourselves a ring. Let's do that. Let's make a ring since we have the stuff to do it now. Uh, do we have anything in there? No. Okay. Then we also have iron. I guess we'll go ahead and make ourselves a uh, like a dagger too. Might as well. No, there's no reason not to. 
Grab this guy. Where's our anvil? Oh, he didn't build. He didn't make an anvil. Mm, he didn't grab an anvil. Let me just go grab one real quick. Actually, I'm going to sell the Claudium too while I'm over there. <laughs> and then I'll grab an anvil. I'll bring it back. We'll make the ring. We'll make the dagger. We'll take those. We'll sell those. And we'll make a whole bunch of money. All right. So this Claudium bar, I wasn't even going to, I was just going to sell it. But I mean, come on. It's worth one, two, three, four. Like, what are the odds of that? I didn't plan that. I just grabbed it out of the smelter. That's that bar right there is worth one, two, three, four. <sighs> I feel like we should just keep it now. I feel like, oh, there's my ruby. That was what everybody was telling me about. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, we got to keep it. We got to keep it. Okay. All right. We got to keep it. <laughs> we got to keep that one. That doesn't happen ever. That doesn't ever happen. Uh, let me sell this guy. How much are you worth? 616. Okay, cool. Uh, cha-ching. All right. Sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab my anvil now. That's, I just, I couldn't get rid of it. Uh, is the anvil over here? How much is that? 616? The anvil cannot be that much, right? No, 86. Heck yes. Okay, so we've got that. Um, let's see. Did we turn on the system just so we can get this? Actually, yeah, let's just turn it on real quick. And then uh, and then we'll, we'll cram our gems together. Turn that on. Turn that on. Everything should come flying in here. And actually, yeah, the rams aren't working right now. So that'll clean up the belts too. Let's just let these things run through real quick. All right, so we got some gems in here. It looks like we got a piece of gold in here. How did the piece of gold get in here? You don't, you're, you don't belong in here. You're supposed to be in this one. Yeah, get in there. All right, let's see how much these things are worth. Eight ninety-eight. Ten ten. Nine forty-nine. All right, so we're gonna go with this one right here. We'll throw. Um, let's see. Do we want to do a ring? We could probably do a necklace actually. How much gold do we have? We have another bar. We have another full bar of gold. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one's iron. Yeah, that one's iron. Let's go ahead and do the iron dagger first. And then let's see. Let's grab our tool. Let's smack it. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. It doesn't go flying. Wonderful. Okay, so we'll put that in there. And then let's make a... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and make a necklace. Why not? I don't think I've made a necklace before. All right, one necklace coming up. Ta-da! Wonderful. All right, let's go sell these and then we got to buy some stuff. Uh, let me try to figure out how many of these lines I'm going to need so I can just grab them all while I'm there. So we're going to have a few switches. We're going to have one switch to turn on the system, which is going to turn on the belt. So actually one switch to turn on the system and belts and then one switch to turn on the machines. So we're only going to have two switches. So we actually already have one, two. We already have two switches. But we're going to have one of these switches control that, control this. Uh, actually, yeah, one switch is only going to control that and this. And then another switch is going to control all of these valves right here. So I'm going to need, oh my gosh, we're going to need a lot of these straight things. We're going to need a lot of the, I'm thinking about actually putting the, putting the deals right here. Putting all the controls right there because we only have, what, two controls? One to control, one to control. Hmm. Okay. Oh, all right. It looks like I need like 60 cables. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot and that's just like including some T's and elbows and stuff like that so let's start off let's grab a let's go over here let's see what we can even grab first we gotta see how much money we're gonna have and then we're gonna probably grab I mean I might grab 50 straight cables to start with put put those everywhere we're gonna need them and then come back for uh for the T's and whatnots all right so we have Un dagger 23,971. Heck yes. Yeah, sounds good. We'll just set that right there. And then our necklace, which should be worth more. 35,557. Heck yeah. Now, will these combine on the ground anymore? Or, yeah, 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 they do. Okay, 59,000 right there. Let's go ahead and let's throw this in here. And then let's take this guy up to our power place. We got a lot of power stuff to buy. Okay, how much money do I have in total? Ooh. We've got 86,000. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So straight power valve. Okay. So we need, I know we need four of these guys. So let's grab those first and then we'll throw those back in here. All right. That looks good. Now somebody was saying that there's like a repair deal. Oh, when any logic value bigger than zero is entered, hurls spanner forward can be refilled by spanners 
or tool bags stores 20. Wait a second. So I can put on an automat an automatic fixing logic spanner hurling unit. Wait a second. So we can automatically fix what when any logic value bigger than zero is entered, it hurls spanner forward can be refilled by spanners or tool bags. So there's an automatic repair deal. Oh, that sounds super cool. Oh, you know what? I just realized I bought the wrong things. I needed to buy these. Well, poop. I bought four of the, the electric valves and not the, um, <laughs> darn it. Oh, well, it is what it is. Wait, are these logic? These are logic. Okay. Okay. I was thinking, I was like, wait, do I have to run power and logic? I don't, I don't. Okay. All right. So I need to get a bunch of these straight logic cables, T cables, logic cable reader reads logic value pass through. Okay. All right. Well, I need a lot of these. All right. I got a bunch of cables. I lost count. I don't even know how many I got. I got a few. Uh, we're going to be short a little bit. <laughs> I know we are. So I was looking at stuff over there and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious about some of the things and how they actually work. Uh, we'll get into that later, but for now, let's get, uh, let's get some stuff going. So I actually need over here. I need to run power and logic cables over here. <laughs> Yeah, we got to run power and logic cables over here. Um, so we're going to have to run two sets of wires over here because we need to power this thing and we want to be able to turn it on and off. Um, yes, because if we don't, we're going to consume power for no reason. So that would be silly. That would just be silly. Let's see. So we need. OK, let's get these ones hooked up first because I know where these things are going. These are all going right here, obviously. Um. Can we rotate it? We can't rotate it up, can we? It just is going to have to be like that. Okay. All right. Um, but that should be able to pass. Okay. That should work. That should work just fine. So let's grab those. Let's get those all hooked up. All right. So we got those hooked up now. Um, we already have the power valve on that. I didn't actually need these power ones. I bought those by accident, so I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was an accident. Where are the other ones? Okay, so we have some curved deals. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and just start getting these things hooked up now. I'm trying to decide, do I want to run them on top? Or do I want them on the run? Do I want to run them on the back side? Hmm. What would we want to do here? We could run one underneath, but then that could get things complicated once we get down over here. And we have to go like this way. Well, we'll run them on top. We'll just run them on top. It'll be, it, I think it'll be better on top. Okay. So for power, let's go ahead and pull this guy off of here. We're not going to be utilizing that for that. Um, we are going to be utilizing these. No, stop that. Okay. So actually what I need to do is we need to it like in line with okay so that one's gonna go there and then we're gonna have to have one of these as well and that one's just gonna go right next to it because that's gonna go down into this guy okay all right all right so looking good and then we'll run both lines on top of here all right let's get these lines started shall we all right so i got some i got some of my logistics cables laid out uh i need a lot more of them we need a, a lot more of them <laughs> and I need a lot more power cables too because I want to run to the power to this and I also want to run power to this guy right here as well so basically I need to extend power lines all the way out here and you know what could we get like a bag of power lines and like bags of stuff that would be so nice that would be like I could buy them in like groups of 10 instead of individually because that's just like the most tedious annoying thing ever I'm just saying it would be super nice <laughs> um and then I kind of was looking at this and how we're gonna do this so I think this is how we're gonna have to do this because you can't have the T going this way and then up it has to be going like this way and then like it's just weird it's weird uh, so we're going to have it go that way. We're going to have a corner go into here. We're going to have a corner go up and another corner go into a T that's going to be right above this. And that's what's going to control these. Now, um, I know I know people are already probably commenting. Um, no, this is not going to be one solid logistic line. I'm going to take parts of these off. 
um, I just want to get them all laid out. And yes, I know that these got rotated over here, but the I, I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, it, I don't care how they look. They're fine. It's fine. Um, and then right here, we're going to put our valves and stuff like that. So or we're going to put these guys, essentially. Um, and we're only going to need two of them. So we're probably only going to have one. Like, we're probably going to have like one there. And then like this guy is going to be um, over here as well. And then once to turn on all the conveyors and everything, the other one's going to turn on the machines. We can turn off the machines with the conveyors one, turn off the other one. That's going to kill the power. That's going to kill the valve. That's going to kill all the things. Actually, honestly, I don't even really need a valve. Because if I just kill the water flow from here, that's really all I need. I don't really even need this guy. So we might not even hook into that guy. But that's where we're at. That's where we're going. We still got a lot more to do. We got a lot more to do. All right. I got like 70 something cables in the back here between power cables and logistics cables. So we're gonna, we're just going to go with it. Hopefully I have enough. I know I probably don't, but you know, it is what it is. All right. So this is essentially how the logistics cables is going to work in this area. Um, it's going to split off, go down around in here, and then we'll have two straights going into this that should control those. Then everything should, uh, should be good. That should work. And then I just have to bring everything down around, you know, so on and so forth, connect it all up. We'll see how this goes. Okay, we're getting close. It's taking me like two in-game days to get to this point. But we're getting close. I've gotten everything for the most part hooked up. Uh, our logistics cables are ran. Uh, things are getting laggy because I have a lot of parts laying around. Um, I'm pretty much going to get as much stuff as I can, finish this off, and I think I'm going to go and sell everything else just so we, we're, uh, we're not lagging out so much. But... As you can see, we have our power lines going over here. Um, I have a T right here because I'm probably just going to throw some batteries on this line to uh, to give us like a battery backup kind of deal. So as you can see, power's running down into this, this powered filter right here. Then we have logistics cables running down into these valves. And then over here and into these valves as well. And then I just kind of have it capped right here. Now, what's nice about this is that I can still expand on and it won't be that bad because it was it's honestly it's this starting from here all the way back there it was this run that was the the issue from here on if i just add one more deal it's not going to be that bad to do it it was just that initial setup oh my gosh it was terrible <laughs> it's just it's just so much back and forth now i only need what three more straight deals so let's do this let's try to get uh let's try to get this hooked up into this power line because like i said um we're going to want power going here, but I need, let's see. We're going to need a logistics power cable, this thing. Let's go ahead and hook this up. So I don't need this powering all of powering these while everything's off. So ultimately this valve well actually you know what i still need a t hold on let's get this moved a little bit um if i put the t on here i need a straight actually this needs to be moved over by one this needs to be moved over moved over by one deal and that's probably gonna mess up everything inside of this guy that's fine Yep, there they go. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, uh, let's see. Hold on. So I need it like this, which means I need this one swapped to there. We need this one back on here. Uh, let's go ahead and just open this and throw these in. All right, so those are in there. So we're going to put the... Do I even need a T? I don't really need a T on it, do I? Let's get a... Uh, I have a corner... Let's actually no, let's do a T. The reason for that is because if we want to do uh do am I gonna need another power reactor? I don't think so. Oh, but if I do, I'd like to be able to hook into it, which means I'd like to be able to place it right there if need be. So honestly, we should put these two switches like right here, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll put a switch here. Well, that's not gonna work. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay. But anyways, I need this right there. So that way we can control the power going to everything. 
How do I want to have this? How do I want to do this? All right, so one of these, this is this switch right here is going to turn on the whole main machine. So what we need to do is we need to send a signal from this into this line this way. So I don't need that one right there for now. Hold on, let's just place that right here like that. And then let's put a T on this going to here. Like that. So we need to connect this one up to this. And then we also need to bring it down here into this guy as well. So let's grab another T. So that's going to go down here. Uh, do I have any more corners and dealios like that? I should have some. Uh, maybe I don't. Doesn't look like I do. Do I need any sh little straight deals going from here? No, because that's going to go down. We're going to need a straight deal in the middle, I guess, of each of those. So we're going to need one there, and then we're going to need one here as well, and here as well, in order to get all of these to work. Okay, so one like that, one like that. We're also going to need another straight deal going from right here. Like this. You know what? We're not going to be able to fit another reactor in right here. We're not going to be able to. So, you know what? Instead of doing that, let's just move these back by one. We're just going to do that. And then we need a corner there, a corner there, corner here, corner here, going into this one, corner here, going into this one, because this one is controlling the drills. Yes. But then it's also going to control this. This thing needs to be replaced. We don't need this valve anymore. Because, like I said, with uh, with with killing power to that, we're not going to get water flow. So there, there's really no need for that powered valve right there. Okay, so we need more corners. And how's everything else looking? We still have two filters. Uh, we could go ahead and get... We have a power deal right here. Um, let's just do this. Let's just put that on there. We might as well as a battery backup. Like there's there's no reason not to. We already have it, you know. And then I don't see anything else that we need from this pile of goodies that I have. <laughs> All right, so we need what? One, two, three more straight power deals. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven curved logistics. All right, let's go grab that. How's my water? Looking good. All right. All right. We got the things that we need. We should be good. So let's see. Let's get these all hooked up. And we'll give it a test run. And then I think we're going to clean up some stuff, sell some stuff, get rid of stuff. Because uh, getting it's, it's a little laggy over here. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, let's grab some of our straight dealios. Actually, how many batteries do I have? I have three batteries in total. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's move this one. Actually, hold on. Let's do this. Let's put those all in here. Because, like I said, battery backup. Always a good thing to have, right? Absolutely. You know what's crazy? Look at it arcing. That's cool. That's super neato. All right, so let's get this hooked into here. One more. And then we should be good on this. No, stop it. Okay, so there is a valve on somewhere that's allowing these to run right now. So we got to adjust that. Out. Is this this one? Not that one. Is it this one down here? All right, so if I flip this switch. Mm hmm. Oh, you know what? 
We never hooked up the reactor to that. <laughs> we never hooked up it to this. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's do. Let's do that. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh shoot! I need another T. You know what? I'm taking a battery one. I don't even care. I'm taking. I'm taking one of these because I need this in here. We need this guy in here. One of those, and then I need another power corner. Uh, oh, I have one more. Okay, so there's that. And then do I have another straight one? I do, okay. I'd like to get another T in here for that other battery, but you know what? Uh, I have the stuff right now, okay. So if I flip this one, Is that turning this? See, I don't know if it's turning this one on or not. Are these all connected? Hmm. See, now it's running. Okay. Huh. You know, that one down there is not working. It works on this one. But it doesn't seem like it's working down here. Yeah, see that one's, it's not cutting the water supply. So I'm gonna take this one off. See, that should not be going right now. Why are you not working? Is there like a, is there a maximum distance on this? Maybe, maybe this needs to be a corner piece and not a, uh, and not a T. See, that should stop it because that should adjust this valve. And turn it off. But it doesn't. Why are you not working? Is there something not connected somewhere? And then the bat, it shouldn't matter on the batteries because it's a power line. The power line is being turned off. Did I seriously run this and then this is just not even gonna work? Why are you not working? trying to see if I missed anything but everything appears to be good huh weird it's just just not working so if I flip this one is it only affecting the first row of stuff hold on actually let's turn this on Okay, so that's off. Okay, you know what? Um. Oh my god. <laughs> I could have saved myself a whole lot of trouble right here. I could have saved myself a lot, a lot of time. If I would have just hooked up this power valve up here like, I don't know, right here. And then just teed off of this and ran into that. Oh my God, why didn't I just do that? And I could just ran power cables out to this guy. <gasps> why didn't I just do that? And instead I ran a logistic cable all the way out here. I'm a dummy. Oh my gosh. Don't do what I do.
don't 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 do what i just did that that was a, a massive waste of time um okay well let's try this then let's grab this logistics tea actually i don't even need the tea i just need a straight for a uh a, a, a corner deal um and then let's grab some of these down here and put these on here like that so that should should send power down here why are you not sending power down there what the heck Oh, you know what? It needs water. It needs water. This isn't going to generate power without water. Hold on. Let's throw a battery back on here. Okay, so. All right. So there's that. I flipped the switch. Okay. Okay, it worked. I turned everything off. Is this turned off down here now? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So that worked. Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? Look at this entire line of logistics cable. I didn't even need it. Oh, I didn't even need it. Okay. So there's that. So now if I flip this switch, turns all those on. Flip this switch. All the drills start going. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. All right. It's working. It's working, people. It's working. <laughs> oh. Learn from my mistakes, please. Learn from my mistakes because that all I was all I needed to do was control the power. And yep, there's a whole bunch of logistics cable that I don't need. I just don't need them anymore. Uh let's go ahead and throw this on here. Uh so it's not. There we go. Okay, and I want to get a corner here as well. So that way that's not doing its thing. But now I should be able to flip that switch. That's going to turn the drills off. And then it's going to allow me to finish running the rest of these so we can clear out the belts. Yep, still coming, still coming, still going, still doing the things. Looking good. We got a little bit more iron and gold coming in. I think that's it. And then we flip this one. Turns off everything. Oh my gosh. So yeah, uh, basically I don't need any of this logistic cable going that way. The power cable I did need. The power cable we did need. Uh, but the logistics we did not. And then I'd like to, like I said, I'd like to get another uh, T to put this battery on as well. Oh, and then a curve right there. That's going to be nice. Oh my gosh. That was uh that was interesting. That was fun. That was that was a good learning experience. Now, um I'm not exactly sure on the rest of the stuff. So, we're going to have to look into that a little bit. I think everything else looks pretty good though over here. Uh ooh, the only other thing that pressure booster might be pulling power as well. Yeah, that pressure booster might be pulling power. So we might want to throw a power valve on this side of the batteries as well, because those batteries are slowly going to get drained. But, I mean, it works. It absolutely works, and it does the things. It does the stuff. This is amazing. This is super cool. I love it. Oh, my gosh, I love it. I just can't believe I ran all of those logistic lines absolutely no reason whatsoever oh it's terrible it's terrible okay so the last thing that i want to do in this episode because we're about to go sell some stuff um the last thing that i want to do is i want to get something new i want to get something fancy let's do it all right let's do it now it's nothing crazy but we're gonna buy a new truck i know it's been you know we've been doing this how long and here is let's just pretend good Gosh, it's laggy. This money is laggy. I don't know what the deal is. 
let's just pretend it's black and red and not blue and red. Let's pretend it's black with red stripes on it. Okay, let's do that. Can we do that? Can we all pretend that it's black with red stripes on it? That would be fantastic. We're going to we got a new truck here. Um, with racing stripes, uh, this doesn't do anything different than the other one. I don't believe I, I'm pretty sure they're all exactly the same except for the color difference. So uh, but we have racing stripes. How cool is that? <laughs> it's the little things in life, right? It's the little things. So let's go ahead. We're going to back this guy up over here. Since we're going to be selling up stuff, loading stuff up. I don't know why I never upgraded before. I mean, I guess is it even technically an upgrade if uh, if it's exactly the same? Like it's literally exactly the same thing. It's just different color. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I don't care. Uh, but that's going to end this episode. Thank you all so much for coming out. Hopefully you had a fantastic time. Learn from my mistakes. Don't do this if you don't have to because, uh, yeah, this worked a lot better. Now, this does present the question to me of how far you can actually run a, uh, a logistics line. Because that should have actually worked if there was no distance max. So, to me, I'm thinking that there was a distance max from like where I'm standing to how far it works. Um, but we figured it out because like this works just as well just as easy and uh yeah it's a thing it works actually you know what oh i was gonna say those batteries aren't drawing anything because this isn't arcing but we have this in the way so yeah that's not gonna make a difference okay um but yeah that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye everybody <laughs>